Today I'm going to tell you about my powder coating oven. I'm going to tell you what materials I used, how long it took me, and how much it cost me to build it. My oven's dimensions, it's six foot tall inside, it's five foot deep, and it's four foot wide. I have three 3,500 watt heating elements. It's 220 volt. Originally when I built my oven, I had a sacrificial lamb oven. And I took uh, the knobs and all the controls off of it and I built my own panel and it didn't work. And the reason it didn't work is because the, the stove top heating elements, the little coil ones, those switches, I guess they don't let as much electricity through as the as the oven or the broiler one like those 3500 watt heating elements right there so i had to switch them out and um i put two as you see two um 220 volt electrical switches and that's what's operating the 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 heating elements inside now and since i put those up i haven't had any issues I just turn them on and, and right away, that's what you get. Freaking bright red, they heat up. I can con still control the one in the rear, which uh, usually I just throw them all on high and that's it. It'll get the part up to 400 degrees real quick. As far as the wiring on my oven, the heating, uh, heating elements, the wires are, it's only two wires in this inside that box and on the outside, the wall's only two inches thick, like I said. On the outside, I put another box. And I have a access panel. And that conduit runs to the next box and so on, all the way around the oven to the other three and back. Um, I've never had a problem with the wires getting too hot, melting, nothing. The oven works, works great. All right, the inside of my oven. The inside of my oven, I lined it with its eighth inch galvanized steel. It's eighth inch because they made a mistake and dropped off eighth inch instead of the 14 gauge galvanized. So I used it. It's all tack welded together. Not on the inside before I, be, on the other side it's, it's tack welded. So anyways, that's what I did. This is tack welded. You can see the tacks, the back. It's all tack welded on. The inside, the inside and the outside skin, it's a 14, 14 gauge. And that's it. I didn't use rivets. I, I just drilled and then I used um, self tapping screws all the way around to put it on. All the way around, it went together super fast. Cause all about, you know, keep it simple, you know, as long as it works, keep it simple. Don't make things difficult. I seen some other people, they put fans inside their oven and they're like, man, they had all kinds of problems. I thought it was a good idea too, until I watched their videos and then they, they had issues. So I'm like, hey, keep it simple. I didn't want electronics. I think electronics, they're like on that oven, that little one, electronics suck, you know? Anyways, I don't need to be high tech. I need it to work. And man, that one works and that one works quick and fast. Oh, the price, I didn't tell you the price that I paid for this oven. Okay, oven this size, look it up. It's gonna run you minimum $4,000. If you buy a powder coating oven that size, 4,000. If you're lucky, probably closer to five. All the material, took me two months. I paid $2,000 for the material. And that's everything. I thought it was a great deal. Hope you liked this video. I have some uh, still pictures of when I built the oven. I didn't do any video, but I have still pictures and I'm gonna go ahead and show those to you right now so you can kind of get an idea, you know, of, of what it looked like, the frame and you know, there's not a lot of pictures, but here's some. Hey, hit that like and subscribe.